Hey everyone, Sweeney here and welcome to another Digital Triggers podcast where we bring you weekly ammunition that you can use in your business. Today we bring on Chris Brisson of Call Loop and Killer Campaigns who's going to tell us different tweaks and tactics we can use to build better campaigns and increase revenue. Now first he's going to discuss one-step checkouts versus two-step checkouts, mainly the benefit of having a multi-step checkout and what you can do with card abandonment, but he also tells us why Call Loop currently uses a one-step checkout. He'll also discuss one-click upsells or one-click bumps, which were made very uh, common by Amazon, made famous by Amazon rather, and then he'll tell us how he's doing his webinars and getting people to sign up, show up, and pay up. And he's actually been using paid webinars and automated webinars. Now, if you think webinars aren't still working, you have to hear this interview. I think the first thing to look at is you know, the order process. So if you can literally tweak your order page, come up with a better conversion system, um, you can basically probably double your conversions, right? If you double conversions, that means you double revenue. So the first thing you can do is start to set up um, I like the GoDaddy Amazon campaign because, um, number one, it's so easy to set up. You can do a one-step checkout or you can do a two-step checkout. So um, a two-step is that card abandonment sequence. So if somebody comes in, they go through step one, and you know they put their name, their email address, their phone number, and then once they submit that, then they go to the order form and then submit the order. Um, or they don't, or if they bounce, then they get put into a cart abandonment campaign. So um, just by having that cart abandonment, just by collecting that information, now you can actually follow up with those people. So if somebody goes to a one-page checkout, well, there's really only two options. One is they actually order the product, and then you collect the information, or they bounce, and there's no other way for you to collect a name, an email, a phone number for you to follow up with. So all these people go to the page, and they just only have two options. So I like a two-step checkout, but there's obviously better, you know, a one-step checkout works really well for like low ticket products that they can just kind of rip through and, and, and place the order. But for a high ticket, um, I like a two-step checkout. You want to kind of because, give us a, a price range there. Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously the cheaper, so if you have a free trial, one page checkout, a dollar, seven bucks, I would say probably up to um, maybe 197, 297 in that range. Um, and once you, I guess, go higher than that, you may want to test a two-step checkout. Now, in many cases, some people may just go to a, the two-step checkout page and not want to fill it out, right? So you kind of run up against that wall. But I think when you go to a higher price point, you want to position the two-step checkout as a way for them to create their account. So uh, on step one, for call loop, and we do one step, we do two step checkout. Uh, we, we lean towards a one step checkout now just because it converts better. But what I do for killer campaigns is step one, create your account. So first name, last name, email, phone, um, password, right? So they feel like they're getting value of actually doing that. And then once they do that, then they go to the order form. So if they don't follow through, then we, we throw them that. So, yeah, so the GoDaddy, card abandonment, and then upsells, one-time offers. Yeah, I mean, what we found for us, because when somebody signs up for a trial, it's a dollar, right? So, you know, get in, right? I mean, it's a buck. So we just found that that converted better, and this is over you know, a long period of time that we tested it. So, you know, we, we just found that a one-step works best, and that's where that whole price point thing comes in. Because if you go through and buy killer campaigns and you go through a two-step checkout, you know, we collect your information and it's a $1,500 product, so you may just bounce. I want to collect that info and then if you bounce, I want to give you a call and talk to you on the phone and see what's up, right? And maybe, um, you know, maybe you want to do a pay plan or, you know, maybe you're not ready, whatever it is, but I want to give you a call and maybe you just need to talk to me um, to get you over that hurdle to do that. And, you know, two-step works for Joe because, again, you may not want to call your customers that bought for a buck, right, or that bounced for a dollar um, on a trial, um, but you may want to call the people that, you know, are in a, you know, buying a $97 product or a $297 product. I mean, even with Call Loop, you can do a voice broadcast, so you can automate that. Um, you can do a text message, right? So if they give you a phone number, you know, you can automate, 
you know, your email marketing, you can automate text, you can automate voice, you can do kind of that, that full 360 approach uh, with everything. In, uh, in, in that business, with Call Loop, I mean, we kind of put one-click upsells and bumps, which is another thing, right? Because you have real estate on your order page. You know, one thing we do, we do well that works really well for us is when somebody signs up for a, let's say, a $49 membership per month, on our order form, we have a little checkbox. And that checkbox says, yes, I would like to save 15% and get the 12-month plan at, you know, uh, Eight ninety-five a month or whatever it is, right? A dis or forty-one ninety-five. So what they actually do is they sign up for paying the annual fee um, with that one click. And so rather than getting somebody at forty-nine dollars a month, we get them for the entire year um, on that fourteen-day trial. So fourteen days later, rather than getting forty-nine bucks a month and they may cancel in three or four months, we get the full four hundred ninety-nine dollars. Um, at the end of that 14 day trial. So it's it's awesome for cash flow. Um, we've you know we've had a lot of customers that use have used just that one little bump and have you know increased revenue 15, 20%. That's without like a one click upsell. That's just adding it on the form. Yeah, I think webinars is the best, you know, I mean as far as driving traffic and then conversion, right? So you know a webinar is a conversion component. So uh, it's also great for lead gen. You know, a lot of people think that a webinar is just uh, just to host a product webinar, um, and it's so interesting. You know, you talk to companies that don't come from the marketing world and don't understand that webinars are actually amazing sales tools, where you can convert 30, 40, 50 percent, um, and they use them just as product like demos, and that's fine. Use it as a product demo, but sell, sell your product on there. Make people a special offer. You know, at, once they become a customer then do product kind of customer success webinars to show them how to better use the product. So, you know, on the front end for people that are just getting in, um, you know, do webinars, right? And, you know, what we have for Call Loop is we have a simple getting started with Call Loop webinar. It's an automated webinar. It drives sales uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. So we generate sales and trials every single, you know, Tuesday and Thursday. And so we have people... They can choose a 12, they can choose a 3, they can choose an 8 p.m. Uh, webinar, so we cover all the bases on those both days. So they can sign up for that, and you know we do make a special offer there, so it's different than what they'll see on the website, and, uh, and so we get a lot of people that, that do that. And so you know, I think the first things, first things to do, or first thing to do, uh, once you kind of, you've gotten your order process figured out, so now all those leads that you put through you're going to maximize the revenue that comes out of that, out of that system. So with a webinar, um, you can do a live webinar, and we have a whole kind of optimized, perfect webinar funnel for that. And what that means is there's really three stages to it. So you have your uh, sign-up stage, which is getting people to register. You have your show-up stage, which is you got to get people to actually show up, right, to generate sales. And then you have, like, the uh, pay-up stage, Right? And so getting people to actually convert to become a client or customer or whatever. And the first stage, uh, the sign-up, you know, there has to be a good hook. There's got to be a good reason why people are actually going to register for this and then be excited about wanting to attend. And early on in Killer Campaigns, I actually charged people 20 bucks to attend a webinar. And it was a two-hour webinar. I went through all these different components of it where I offered immense value and this paid webinar actually was a sales tool for us. So we got money up front, and we actually sold killer campaigns in the back end, and it worked really well. Um, and that will be now automated for the most part. So, uh, so yeah, so you've got that, that whole front end part. Now, the attendance part is you got to get people to actually show up. And I've done webinars, and maybe you've done webinars, uh, Sweeney, with, you know, you get 500 people that register, and like 30 people show up. And if you're doing it with like a joint venture partner, it's embarrassing. It's like, oh my gosh, man, you know, or you go through all this work. You want to make this time. this thing work, and no one no one shows up. And most people drop the ball because you know, number one, they've kind of screwed up on on part one. Um, but number two is they're just relying maybe on go to webinars emails. And if you're just doing that, uh, you're just relying on one channel. And so what you want to do is you want to stack your channels. So you have email. You have voice broadcast, you have text messaging, 
Um, maybe you can do direct mail postcards. Um, maybe you can do Facebook ads, right, with retargeting and all that stuff to get people to show up. Because the more people you get to show up, the more eyeballs, more people will see your presentation, and essentially the more money you're going to make, right? And so, you know, with killer campaigns and autom the automated and live webinars we do, all of that is totally automated. So we send the emails. 15 minutes before, we send a text message. 30 minutes before, we send a voice broadcast um, to drive attendance. And then, you know, uh, on the last part, you have the pay up. And so there's going to be people that are going to show up um, and bail early. So maybe they stay on for like three minutes or 10 minutes. So we want to put them into a specific sequence, right, and follow up with them differently versus the person that stayed until the end and they stayed for an hour, they saw the offer, and they didn't buy, right? The messaging is going to be different uh, to those folks. And then also you have people that just aren't going to show up. And so what are you going to send to those people? And the easiest thing to do is actually record the webinar and send out a replay. Um, you know, I know with us and probably with you guys, um, with a lot of people is actually, you know, we generate an upwards of 50% of the revenue on a replay. Right, because we just know not everyone's going to show up. They really wanted to get it, but whatever happened, they just couldn't make it. And so we can send them a replay, and we can drive more sales that way. So record it and send out the replay to these people to actually get the information to then buy your uh, your product. So yeah, I would say webinars. I mean, start with a live one because you want to do a couple live ones uh, to kind of get your messaging, kind of tweak your slides. Once you've got it working, then you automate it. Um, and so with killer campaigns, um, I was doing a live webinar and selling the, the original kind of webinar campaign just from a, a presentation that I, I put together. And that worked, right? And then I, I just, it's been an evolution and changed it. And then I charged the $20 for a webinar. Um, and now what we'll do is actually sell a $7 webinar. Uh, well, they'll, they'll get that webinar and they'll get that content. Well, guess what? Now that is a front-end you know, revenue source. Uh, affiliates want to s promote it because now they can generate money on the front end. Maybe we give away 100% commissions to them on the front, and then, hey, on the back end is actually we offer the product. And so they can make commissions there as well. And so you know, there's so many different ways to um, drive traffic and attract leads. And I think tripwire is kind of the, the term now, but... You know, back then, you know, a couple of years ago, and Ryan Dice, I think, kind of created all this stuff, right? So, you know, you had um, self-liquidating offers. Yeah, so you have a $7 report. You know, you got a $7 webinar. Um, you have all that stuff, and I think a webinar is the best way to convert. You know, it's, it's the easiest way because people get on a presentation, and, you know, we generate 10%, 15% conversion. My buddy Ryan gets, like, a 50% conversion off a webinar, um, which is insane. So you know, sales letter sales letters work. Webinars work in, insanely well. Um, and we actually created a technology for teleseminars. So we have a, a platform called autoteleseminar.com. So if you don't want to do a webinar, you can now take it to the audio and just do a conference call. So you know, automate that. Why not? Right. Or yeah, you know, because there's value in it, right? Like. It's so funny. Who was I? I was talking to somebody the other day. Really, too, because if you pay for something, you're probably going to show up compared to. If you yeah, show up. you're you're going to value the information. You're going to treat it differently. You're going to attract a better client um, because there's there's skin in the game, right? Like they paid you money, uh, and so my buddy uh, Travis Ketchum at uh, Contest Domination, I was talking to him at InfusionCon. He's like, dude, I created this free course. I gave it away for free. And like no one actually went through the content, um, and then I charged ten dollars, right, or whatever it was, and now all these people are actually going through it. They're using it. They're providing feedback, and so there's a lot to be said about value, you know. And, and I didn't want to create a free webinar, give away all this awesome stuff for free, um, you know, a twenty dollar bill, um, and that's what I put in the sales. It was like a twenty dollar bill, and that was it. And so I actually split tested twenty bucks, ten dollars, five dollars, because actually showed the, the dollar bill on the sales page because mm -hmm. you can't show a $15 bill, right? So 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks. And, um, you know, I think the sweet spot's 10 bucks, right? And so there's value in it, and if you can go above and beyond, um, you'll convert. And we actually generate a lot more sales that way. 
So, you know, I think any webinars going forward will be a paid, a paid webinar specifically for, you know, for killer campaigns because it's good. There's good content. Um, now I want to give it away for free. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the interview and some of the different tactics that he told us. If you really want to go deeper with this and learn how he's automating and increasing and maximizing his campaigns and really building these very strong automated funnels. Head on over to members.digitaltriggers.io, and that's where you can check out the full interview. He also discusses webinars a lot more, which I found very interesting because he's doing paid webinars and he's doing automated webinars. So it's almost the holy grail of webinars. But he is doing them and, and having a lot of success with them. So head on over, check that out. If you're listening to this on iTunes, please, 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 please. Leave us a review or rating, subscribe. These things help us a lot. We bring this content to you, so we appreciate it if you can help us back out. Either way, we hope to see you again on the next podcast. Take care.